Hello and welcome to this video for Blackboard Learn. Today we're in the Grade Center and we're going to take a look at color codes. So Blackboard offers you a few different management tools for your Grade Center. One of the nice ones is, is color codes. Now, as you look at your Grade Center you'll be able to see all the grades, all the different uh, numbers that are floating in based off of the assignments that have been created by students and turned in. Now as you look at a very large Grade Center it might be that you just want to take an overview look at the Grade Center get an idea of the health of the class. So grading color codes will help you do that. Now they're not 100% mandatory to use, but they can be helpful. Helpful. So here's an example. We have this uh, student that's earning a C on their test. So anytime that somebody gets into a C, I want it to show that it's yellow on this on the screen here. Anytime they get an A on something, I want it to be uh, green or not. Maybe let's not even have anything happen when they have a good score. But if they go below and they have a fail, then we want that to turn red. So how we can set this up is creating color codes and base it off criteria. So here we are hit the, under the manage button and I'll click on creating color codes. Now the very first thing it's going to ask you is do you want to enable these? So you can turn them on or off because sometimes they might be a little bit distracting if you had them on all the time. So I'll go ahead and turn them on and then I have some color codes that I can create based off of things that are happening in the Grade Center. So if a student's on a test or if there's an assignment that needs grading or we want to do some sort of ex exemption you can set a color code by dropping down this arrow picking out what uh, color would best fit for that scenario now with these ones I typically leave just uh, white because an icon will show up in those particular cells and that gives me enough information I just really want to look at grades so what we have to do is start by adding criteria so I'm going to click add criteria and we're going to start right at the top so any Anything that is more than or equal to, let's say, 89.5, round up to the 90, will turn background color, we will turn it green, just for this particular session. So this is kind of what an, an idea of what the cell might look like if you get uh, an A on a particular assignment. Let's do our next criteria. So if you're between a certain range, so let's say my cutoff is let's do 69.5 all the way up to 89.4 there we go and we'll adjust that to yellow and then finally we'll do anything that is less than 69.4 Okay, so there's our basic color coding preview. When I hit submit, it's going to apply those color codes. So now we can see all the assignments just by looking at the color and see where people are in the class. So this particular person is just under the threshold. So if I went up here to the research report, let's give them 100% on that grade. It's going to update that. Uh, not enough to bring them outside of that total and actually I think that this weighted total was just the leftover from a prior assignment so it's going to be tough to get that one up. Uh, if I went maybe to this test one I could give them a hundred percent and uh, that should update all the different areas there. So let's go down the list a little bit and uh, do some more testing. So user three, let's say they got a 50 on this test. Well, I earned the red so you know they're not doing very good in the class. And you can see how useful this would be in just taking a quick overview look of your grade center and seeing where students are. So I've seen this done where you have to hit a certain threshold to be able to even pass the class and so this will give you that visual indicator if you need to talk with a student and uh, see what's going on. So one quick way that you can hide these color codes once you have them on is click the hide color code button that's at the top of the grade center um, and that's a good quick way to toggle that back on or off. So again, these are color codes in Blackboard. Pretty simple, pretty fun, and thank you for watching this video.